Yeah, we want to see this. Wow, he's not so sure he wants to be seen. I think you got a pike. Northern? Yeah, that's my guess. That'd be good. Oh yeah. He's got a huge fish, it is not coming in. It's a musky. Oh, would that be wonderful? Look at that thing. Oh, I should say, look at it, hear it. Oh my, do you hear the drag? Yeah, listen to this. <laughs> oh my listen god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to see this. Wow, he's not so sure he wants to be seen. I think you got a pike. Northern? Yeah, that's my guess. That'd be good. Oh yeah. He's got a huge fish. It is not coming in. It's a musky. Oh, would that be wonderful? Look at that thing. Oh, I should say, look at it, hear it. Oh my, do you hear the drag? Yeah, listen to this. <laughs> oh my listen God. <laughs> no, GoPro keep recording. Hear his drag? Can you hear his drag? This is a big fish, Dan. <laughs> his drag is just like peeling. It's a 20 pound sheep set. Pour a can of water over the reel. <laughs> yeah, pour a can of water over the reel. It's heating up. No wonder we weren't catching fish. Right. We had a predator in the spot. I'm guessing it's snagged. Snagged? Yeah, could be. Because, you know, you kind of rip these. I gotcha. And, um, you know, it, it could be a big walleye and it's hooked funny too. You know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah, that makes it a little more difficult. Right. Last time I had a fish like this, it was a carp, about 36 inches long. Oh no, he's got a carp history. I can see it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> it was a welcome fish. We hadn't had a bite up till that point. <laughs> We're on Winnicott. Well, let's see that fish. So then, you know, if it if it comes in here, stick out your rod to be defensive. And I'll shut off the motor if I need to. Ooh, here I'm gonna shut this off. Getting tired? Whoa! Oh, I'm not real tired. No, it just said, uh uh, I'm not Here, I'm gonna. Yet. All right. You can't see it because of the there, sun. There's your line, right? It's a oh, huge it's pike. It's a oh, northern. look at that northern. Oh my goodness, Dan. Oh my goodness. Grab the net. Grab it up there. <laughs> I, I break the net. Yep. Oh. Oh my god, you guys. We caught like about a 15 pound pike. <laughs> oh. That is a <laughs> Are you there, Tom? That was fun. We got like a about a 40 inch pike. It's just huge. I'm not kidding you. It's wow. at least 40 inches. Oh, it's no, it's in its mouth. It's totally in its mouth. Oh, that's you know, it's fluorocarbon, and we got lucky. You know, what can I say? I mean, we got a little bit lucky there to land that. I mean, you know, we did. Yeah, we got to let it go. Yeah, you know, it's look at that. Okay, look at that. Yes. That's shiver. So you actually had it right in the corner. Right. You know, life. Yeah, that must mean I am doing something wrong. Well, yeah, maybe I need to lessen you. It's a walleye. That thing extends out if you want. You have the net, John? Yep. It's a walleye. All right, just you can just net it. So just do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Got it. <laughs> okay. So just do that. But okay, what you got to do is are you feeling it hit the bottom? Yeah. Okay.
so so I'm gonna I'm gonna watch you cast it out and and you can this you, get the bottom. you can also pull it back this way a little bit that way you're leaping it more than bringing it up right and as long as you got some as long as your line is a little bit straight when it hits the bottom yeah. that's what yeah. yeah if you're feeling bottom contact and, and you know it's not Canada it's Wisconsin and you got to throw a million times a lot of times to get a bite you know what I mean it's just let me see what you're uh, doing here Watch. Yeah, I'm trying to feel bottom I don't feel bottom that's what I was trying to do okay yeah I'm not feeling it much till I get it closer in okay so um you know I'm I'm moving I'm moving it like from here to here from here to here <laughs> nice job Keep your wallet. Yeah, it's gotta be 15. I'll measure it. That's 15. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> He's got it now. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I see. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? I see. Oh yeah. Yeah. There. Oh, I got it in my hand. What? Here, let me just grip it. I got it. I won't let go. There. Pretty color. He looks like a Canadian. Mm -hmm. Look how dark this thing is. Well, it's not gonna make 15, is it? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go underneath your foot here, John. And I've got one of these bump boards. I think it's gonna make it. But... Oh yeah. It is solid into it's a solid 16. Yeah. 16 right. and a quarter. He caught it. He caught it right next to the boat, like probably ten feet away, and he was just it was like just right out there. <clears throat> On the bottom there. Yep. Not very aggressive. He had this on. Yeah. I'll put, probably put one of those. Yeah. Here I got one there. That was cool. I looked up and I just saw. I saw it hit and I saw you react and it was cool. Right next to the boat. Or a catfish, or a pike. <laughs> it just didn't look like a walleye bite. Thank God it was in the. Can you imagine if it wasn't in the rod holder? That's a sheephead. It's a silver bluegill. Somebody was asking if they're in here. <laughs> look how look how yellow it is. Yes, it is. It, it, what a weird color. Sheep or sheep said, yeah, oh, yeah, they get huge, they get bigger in Green Bay. You would not, yeah, I mean, that's like, uh, we got one here too. All right, I'm gonna move this so I can net your fish. It's, it's, it doesn't feel like a real walleye though, but it must be. Big, right? big walleyes fight like sheep. Yeah, it might be a sheep. It's hammering. Yeah. It, it just doesn't feel like a walleye. Now it's pounding a little bit. Yeah, it? yeah, that's smallmouth bass like almost. It is. Oh. Uh, I think that's the sheephead that they just released. <laughs> Here we go. 